What's up YouTube? For tonight's video, uh, just a little bit of a casual one. I'm actually redeeming a Lolan Vulpix. This is Lily's Vulpix. Now, I'm actually using a Korean DS. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, I, know, I know many people will definitely not have this. Um, I actually have this to just redeem my Korean events that I use in my videos. Now, obviously, the purpose of this video is to show you how I go about getting these events and using them in my videos. It's not, I'm not showing off or anything. Um, I just want to show you how to uh, go about getting these and how I go about getting some of the Pokemon uh, events in my videos and I may give these ones away in the future. We'll just see. Anyway, a um, little bit of info about this event. This is obviously from the, uh, you know, this is a Korean DS and Korean game. Um, now, this is Snowy, so Lily's uh, Alolan Vulpix. It's got the ability Snow Cloak, and it's holding a Silk Scarf. Now, I actually got this one before, but it wasn't, uh, you know, able to put it up at the time. So, this is like a little second, uh, you know, attempt at it. Now, this was... I'll just get this one right. So this was um, on the Korean airing Asana, uh, SM023 and SM024 uh, at 5 p.m. on August 24th. And it'll be revealed again on the 25th of August tw uh, 2017. Okay, just a, a little credit to Bulbapedia there for that one. Anyways, uh, so putting in the code JAMES to get this. And uh, this is the Vulpix you get. Now, this Vulpix is in a Cherish Ball. Um, it doesn't have any guaranteed IVs at all, but it comes with a set nature, and the nature is actually good. And I'm going to actually run a move set on this, go through a couple of uh, Alolan Vulpix move sets. Should be a bit of fun. As you can, as you can see, that's a redeeming date there. Uh, now, there was a couple of other ones. I'll put them up to, not tonight, but uh, tomorrow I've got a theme team as well. Um, I've just been pretty busy tonight with some stuff. But uh, back to my usual videos tomorrow. And uh, if you want to sit through this one and listen to some move sets and stuff, you sure can. All right. So just booting up my game now, going back into my other one. Now, this was... I think I've got a... I had a, like an empty party, so I was just able to do... Uh, go to the man in the Pokemon Center. You can go to anyone. It uh, doesn't matter what Pokemon Center at all. And collect your item. Um, I just restarted this game. Uh, so what you can do, right, is you can... This is an event to... Um, you can actually get the event right. Um, trade it to another game, restart the game over again, and then get it again. So it's a, it's one you can keep you know, essentially getting over and over again. Not sure uh, when this if 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 the event expires, obviously you can't keep getting it. But in during those expiration dates, I'm not 100 percent sure uh, of those ones. Uh, you can just keep getting it over and over again. You just need a new save file for each one. Anyways, uh, let's get this one. Just uh, now, I'm just going to trade to my other game. I want to see what IVs it's got, and uh, let's get over some little move sets on this beauty. Now, if there's any more information on it, um, I, I, I think I've mentioned all the information on the Vulpix. Now, also, if you do want to see some other events and stuff, or I do have a playlist, so I'll just add this to a playlist. So I try and put all my events that I redeem and Pokemon that I redeem. So I get a lot of people asking, you know, how do you get all these Pokemon? You know, do you hack them in and things like that? And I, of course, I definitely don't, and I'm just starting to show a lot of these now. I wish I actually showed a lot of them uh, from all my earlier videos, but uh, I thought I'd put them up. Anyway, let's have a look at this. So it's got Modest Snow Cloak Silk Scarf. And it comes with Powder Snow, amazing attack there, um, which is pretty cool. And you got the uh, the Korean OT there and the Korean name, uh, and the Cherish Ball too at a, uh, at level ten. So with this one, uh, you can definitely gold bottle cap it up. That would be the way if you want to get some good IVs. Modest Nature is really good on it too, so that's going to boost its special attack. Timid would have been probably the ultimate, uh, but that's all good. Modest is going to be nice. You could uh, definitely run that as max speed and max special attack too. Let's get into some Alolan Vulpix sets. Now, I'm just going to trade to my other game, as you'll see that on the screen. So, it's got the Snow Cloak instead of the Snow Warning, which kind of it, it kind of sucks, but we'll, we'll, let's make use of it. So, this raises the evasion of uh, you know a Pokemon with the ability during hours. So, this is going to be like a real scummy set, right? So, you could give this... Let's say... Let's say we're going to take it into Nine Tails, right? Let's say we're going to evolve it into Nine Tails and we're going to make it a, a Nine Tails set. So we've got Max Speed, Max Special Attack, obviously, there. It's got Modest Nature, which is good. So that's going to be hitting fairly hard. Um, obviously, this one, since it's in a Cherish Ball, it can't be bred and stuff. So if you want to keep that Cherish Ball, so. Uh, a lot of those, uh, you know, those breeding moves won't work. But you can use stuff like, let's say we want to do a special sweeper, right? You can go nasty plot on it. Well, that would hit very, very hard after 
uh, after a, like one nasty spot will be very, very hard. A lot of time it does run timid, but modest can definitely work too. Um, and you can give it, instead of it, you could give it, ha I reckon you could give it hail. Give it hail, right? You could give it hail. You could either give it the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the ice rock or the, you could give it bright powder. Let's give it bright powder, right? This is going to be a real, real scummy set. So bright powder and snow cloak. That scummy evasion, so and with the hail, so hail uh, set up the hail, then start spamming nasty plot like you like you wouldn't believe, and then you could just go like, uh, just go frost breath because that'll bite. You could go frost breath and or you could go blizzard. Um, I'd probably go frost breath, bypass any bulky Pokemon, and uh, hit steel types. Yeah, steel types are always a problem with the Lolan Nine Tails. You probably wouldn't use it against Steel Type anyway because it's four times weak. So you could just go with something like Moon Blast and Frost Breath. That'd probably be your two best moves if you wanted to go for that set. You'd have to be pretty lucky with a Hidden Power. I might actually try and go for a Hidden Power Ground or something if I can be bothered restarting my game a hundred times. But uh, <laughs> if you want to go for that one, that'd be cool. I actually got very nice uh, IVs on this suit. I almost I got a very good in, in health and a very good in speed. Attack was like, yeah, I don't really care about that. But uh, the, the health and speed was really good. As I said, you can get it to level 100 and just gold barrel cap it up using your um, little uh, treasure uh, treasure mission. Um, I've got a lot of silver and gold bottle caps. So that's easy. However, I'm not keeping this one. I'm actually trading this away to a friend. Um, so anyway, so we got the we got the special one, right? So that'll, that'll work. Let's go for... Let's go for the physical one, right? Let, let's have a look at this. So the physical one, you could go with... It's absolutely terrible. You could also go with the hail and the bright powder still, and you could go for... Oh, it gets ice shard. As I said, I want to do a... I do want to do a uh, physical uh, nine tail sweep. So it gets ice shard. Man, that's going to hit like a truck. And you could go... Let's have a look. How is a pre-evo? That sucks. Um, to, I was going to make like a, or let, let's, you could make a choice banded one. If you didn't want to run bright powders, you go choice, choice band ice shard. It's going to hit, man, guys, it's going to hit really hard, like super duper hard. And oh, this, these are the physical moves it gets, right? Let me run through them. Faint attack, flail, frustration, giga impact, ice shard, payback, return, secret power, and tail slap. Oh, you could go for some tail slap. King's Rocks action, people. Without that, uh, without that skill link, it's gonna it's gonna be so effective. Anyways, so that you could run the physical set. Let's have a look right at Volpix in Little Cup. Or let, let's have a look at that Volpix in Little Cup. So it's got the snow cloak. You could definitely go with the hail again. That are, you really want to make use of that snow warning, right? So we got the hail, and with this run. Let, let's go... We could make it just a, an outright sweeper, a special sweeper. So let's give it... Let's give it Blizzard. So get the hail up, sp start spamming Blizzard. Um, instead of instead of Bright Powder, you could give it... You could give it the... Uh, in, you could give it the Ice Rock to extend the... Um, to extend the uh, hail. So that'd be good. So eight turns. Um, and then you could start spamming Blizzard. And then you've got the chance of not being hit under the snow cloak too. It's so scummy. Um, now, for steel types, there's not, as I said, there's even with a special move pool, there's not much. You'd have to go for a hidden power or dark pulse for neutral. I mean, it's not that, it's not that great. You could go extra sentry too for fighting types. And then again, you've already got moon blast, so you probably go for opt over moon blast and extra sentry. So you could go like dark pulse just for, um, just for uh, steel types. I may even, as I said, you could go for a, like a, maybe a hidden power. Hmm, hidden power ground would be cool because then you can hit fire, you can hit fire, and then you can hit steel. So that'd be really cool. I've got a uh, amazing uh, Rowler for this one. This was just a uh, present for a friend, so I actually will, will have a lot of these. Anyways, so um, I went over a physical, uh, physical nine tails, a special nine tails, a special Vulpix, and oh my goodness, I'm um, just guys, we could run a toxic old facade, a lol and Vulpix. That'd be so good. Got to get that. That that would be that'd be amazing in Little Cup. Then you could run like Ice Shard for priority. Man, that'd that'd just be that'd just be too good, right? That'd be way too good. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, people. I just thought I'd go over um, some of these more rare events that are you know they're quite hard to get these. Uh, I don't, actually don't know too many people with a uh, Korean game, but. Uh, yeah, just a little, uh, just a little insight to what things look like, and it's um, you know why I use these in some of my theme teams. I'm actually thinking of doing a uh, you know a video involving uh, this particular Vulpix. I bet you'll never guess what that one is. 
Anyways, I got my theme team up tomorrow. I may have a double upload. I'm not sure, just depending on how my battles go. But if I don't, I'll have one on. I'll have one. I've got probably about four or five theme teams I want to put up this week. So if you did stick around for the whole video, thank you very much. And uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace out.